Oh, oh, wow. Are you okay, ma'am? Oh no, ma'am. Hello, and welcome back to another Wolf Quest video with Snekin and his... The, the wolf that he's trying to get rid of by growling excessively, but it's not working. She is not taking the hint. Still gonna try to get rid of her in this episode since no one seems that attached. Yeah, he... He really doesn't know why she's still here. <laughs> Is it floppy in every season? Really? Is it a new season already? Well, okay. So last time he was exploring... Whoops. Hey! Hey! I was supposed to steal that! No! No, stop! Did terribly, I'm so mad. We need to go somewhere where there are no rabbits. The plan... Yeah, is for her to just starve. So... <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get away from Floppy as quickly as possible. And continue looking for that one rock den. She is really hungry right now and asking him for food. But he doesn't care that much. He's just going to continue exploring. Although he is getting quite hungry himself. Oh wow. She's in 17%. <sighs> I hate this. I hate everything about this. It's so mean. If she doesn't leave him, that that's tragic. He continues to explore the land. And in fact wonders if he should, again, test the strength of the other packs. He's been to the lucky pack and he knows that they're strong. But he has yet to face the two other packs. And find out which one is the most vulnerable. gonna eat the rabbit and growl at her for doing absolutely nothing wrong and he's going to bite a coyote because apparently he woke up in a bad mood today on the wrong side of the bed huh just because you chase off a coyote doesn't mean that Snicken will accept you He's had plenty of rest, so now it's easier for him to maintain his stamina and head travel for long distances. Dogs. Again, he doesn't know them to be a threat. He doesn't know yet that they can attack pups. And he doesn't know that they're super overpowered compared to a wolf, especially the little ones. It's gonna continue towards the Lost River pack. Seemingly the dominant pack in the area and also the one that reminds him most of Crevice Lake. For some reason. Definitely not just because they are red. How many rabbits does he have to rudely eat in front of you? Oh, you caught one. Bad. No, this was not the plan. Still starving, though, at the moment. <laughs> Suddenly she comes to stand in front of him. She tells him that she's very hungry. She wags her tail and encourages him to hunt with her. And he snarls back. No. If you're hungry, you can leave. 
you can find another wolf to follow around and annoy. This is making me nervous. I would never let a pup starve the way that I'm making her starve right now. Oh look, food. She doesn't even bother to go after them of her own accord. So he doesn't bother either. Oh! Oh, wow. Are you okay, ma'am? Oh no, ma'am! Nope. Oh my goodness, this is not okay! This is not okay! This is not okay! Oh, I'm upset. Oh no, I think I've gotten attached. Leave, it's for your own good. You have to leave. He's not gonna feed you. He's not. That was never the plan. Did you get something anyways? You have to leave, ma'am. Oh. Immediately encounters them. One guy. Look, You look like a dog, sir. Or ma'am. He immediately... Oh. You don't even belong here. I'm doing the Lost River Pack a favor. Honestly. See, she won't even bite down that hard. Ah, bruised jaw. This is not what I wanted, no. He's gonna let that go. His jaw hurts too much to pursue it anyways. The pack ought to know that they're here by now. He's not afraid to announce himself. in their territory. Oh. The amount of responses spooks him a little bit. He starts to get nervous. But he's not about to back down. Howling once again to get their attention. Where are these wolves? Is this territory run by dogs? He hates cowards. And from what he's seen so far, these wolves are nothing but cowards. Wait. Oh yeah? Did you hear me shouting coward from afar? There. A male. A weak male. Already riddled with some strange illness. She is going to follow him until she just starves. Oh, this is not good. I'm still bothering to call. Now he feels a sense of confidence, like he can defeat their pack easily. And he heads straight for their howls. Finally a pack weak enough for him to take on. Feel a sense of superiority. Ah, here they come. He faces them first. A female this time. Whoa. Of 
grabbing this one. She's weaker. <laughs> Desperate to prove himself in this new territory. He doesn't even belong here. Once again, they start to chase him. Uh-oh. He sees her struggling. And he doesn't care. He does try to fend off the wolves. But if she's not strong enough to defend herself, then there's nothing he can do for her. Uh-oh. And they run at the last second. And he's left with this wolf still at his side. Oh, she was starving, not dying in battle. Okay. Uh, what? No. No. Wait, when did this happen? Are you gonna eat at all? Who could these wolves be? Once again they face him with aggression. Oh. He has friends. Gasp, 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 gasp. Wait, what? Is that... Wait, 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 I can explain. Oh, they're dispersals. They're not even supposed to be here. I mean, it looks similar to Charm. <laughs> um... Interesting. More and more she begins to prove herself in battle. I'm not howling for you, ma'am. And finally, he starts to second-guess his decision. But, ah, before he can change his mind about taking her into battle, he already has. Gasp. There she is. Right? This is a male, never mind. No. Okay. He doesn't have anything left to prove. Oh no, her health. Oh no. He's not even looking back anymore. He's just trying to get out of their territory. Not because he's scared of his strength, but now he's actually scared for the life of the wolf he's with. And now he looks back. And somehow, somehow, on 6% health, she's still here. <laughs> somehow. I have no idea how. And she doesn't seem bothered or disturbed. She is laying down, though. She's extremely injured. And it's Snaken's fault. And yet she doesn't even seem to blame him. Finally, the guilt creeps through his pelt. 
Again, he has to spoon feed a wolf rabbits. And yet, a thought occurs to him. That she saved his life once. Should he not owe her everything? Why has he been so completely horrible? Not even considering her needs. Well, she only seemed to think of his own. Well, they won't be hunting beavers. <laughs> if only. Dispersal wolves are nearby. As is a rabbit. She's tired, but she needs to eat. To regain her strength. Kind of reminds him of feeding his pups. He would have done anything for them. Hmm. Is that a bad idea? Most likely. For once, he actually hopes that her injuries will start to heal instead of his own. Ugh, oh, her health. Her health is not good. It's better. But it's not good. Unfortunately, this den is already occupied by other wolves. And they drive him out rather quickly. However, he does see food. He's just gonna go for it. Ouch. Receiving a couple of kicks, but the fawn can do little against the deep snow. Ah. Making sure to break it off. She's desperate for this. But still, not a great hunter. There we go. Oh, and he takes the most of that. For once, putting the needs of another wolf above his own. She never did anything wrong except be friendly. And she's a loner too. Oh boy. So annoying how <laughs> she carries each meat chunk. This is so slow, why are we doing it like this? Oh, how dare they. No. Uh, that's a lot of dogs. That is a lot of dogs. That is a lot of dogs. Yeah, she is staying on the outside of the battle now. Finally, he gets to test the strength of these creatures. <laughs> As they get buried in the deep snow. She seems a little bit better. Now, she's able to walk, and she ate at least a little bit of food. Now that she has finally recovered to the point where she seems like she can take care of herself, <laughs> she stares off into the distance. He approaches her. 
Still not knowing why she stuck with him, but maybe it was just out of the kindness of her heart. Showing him this place, showing him the strength of the other packs, teaching him about dogs. And most importantly, saving his life. For no reason. And then sticking around. Despite everything that he tried to do to get rid of her. To not get attached. And he knows that if she sticks with him for too long, it'll only be harder for her. She's just like Magpie. He'll want to do everything in his power to get away from her. And so he's going to approach her. And this time, he's not going to expect her to leave of her own accord. He will make her leave. For her own good. For her own safety. And he's going to send her away. Finally set free. Telling her that he doesn't need her anymore. And that he'll have to continue to explore the other pack's strength on his own. <laughs> Look at her. And deep down he does hope that she will find a better wolf to take her in. <laughs> As he stumbles up on the rocks. The only question... Will he ever find a wolf... That he can truly love? Or simply get along with? in this strange new land alone.